So a few weeks ago, I got this little gem in the mail, my dream camera, the Sony a7S III. This isn't going to be a fancy rundown of specs or a review or anything quite like that. It's more so just a journal entry into a major shifting point because this is a pretty huge deal for me and in many ways it represents an era of growth and no compromises. Ever since I started shooting with the exception of my first DSLR which was gifted to me, I've bought all my own stuff with money that I would save up from my summer jobs, holidays, and really however else I could just scrape together some cash. And even then, I've always sort of had to buy something that's maybe secondhand or a little older, never quite the latest and greatest. And I've always had to sell a camera to buy a new one. And let it be known, there's nothing wrong with that either. You make do with what you have, and I've done that for over five years at this point. The past three years have seen me grow exponentially as a videographer, filmmaker, creator, editor, the list goes on. And with that comes the pains that are associated with growth. I've really been getting to the point lately where I feel like I need to start pulling bigger levers, turning bigger keys, and moving to the next stepping stone. And I've been at this plateau where in order to gain access to some of these opportunities, I need to start putting my money where my mouth is. Up until this point, for the past three years, when I've started to get really serious about video, I've been rolling with my trusty A6500. And this camera is what helped me get a full-time job in videography. It was my first taste of mirrorless 4K, 1080 slow-mo, good low-light performance, and everything else. I have shot countless projects with it, and it has never failed me, not a single time. Now, it is a crop sensor. Battery life is terrible. The footage is 8-bit. The LCD and EVF aren't great. No flippy screen. And there's plenty more to not love about it, but it's mine. I worked my butt off for it and paid $1,200 for it over three years ago. I bought lenses and accessories over time, and I slowly learned how to become an expert at video. Now enter the Sony a7S III. This camera represents really a whole new era for me, one where I'm more confident, more refined, more grown up, more wise, and more ready for anything. And it took me months to make this decision, full transparency because of the price tag. I am a very cautious buyer, I always have been, and I'm very protective over my money. And my anxiety makes buying nice things really tough sometimes. And I looked for any excuse that I could not to have to fork out $3,500 just for the body of this camera. I'm still a pretty small fish, so a $3,500 price tag honestly makes my skin crawl. It makes me uncomfortable. And just the fact that that's used car money, that's emergency money, that's house money. It is a risk and it's a liability. What if this and what if that? I researched every other cheaper camera, the Canon R6, the Fuji X-T4, the Blackmagic Pocket Series, the Panasonic S5, and plenty more. All of them required me to make a significant sacrifice that would put me right back in the same boat of growing pains and always settling. I tried to over justify the purchase. The money was there and quite honestly it wouldn't hurt me too much, but do I shoot enough content to justify that kind of money? Am I good enough? My imposter syndrome went into overdrive. What if this? What if that? I made myself sick over this decision until I finally decided to just ask myself, what if I stopped compromising? This is my life. I eat, breathe, and sleep video. It is what I want to do, no doubt in my mind. I have put in the hours, I've put in the work, and in this moment and in my area, I do believe I am the best at what I do, period. And not even the imposter can convince me otherwise. I'm fortunate and blessed enough to be financially solid and to be quite honest, the camera will pay for itself. So I ditched the compromises and invested in myself with something that's more confident, more grown up, more wise, and ready for anything. The features it offers fix every problem I've ever had with my current setup, and I feel like I can walk into any room with this thing and just take care of business. It really is everything I've been wanting in a camera, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. There's still many more shiny and flashy toys than this one out there, and there always will be, but this one is mine. This is the camera that will see me build my own business, travel more places, reel in those bigger fish, and continue molding the life that I want to achieve for myself. As for my A6500, I still really like this camera, especially for personal stuff like photography and more casual content. It's definitely going to stay in the bag, but it will enjoy some much deserved rest after a job well done. I seriously can't wait to start creating more and really just squeezing every drop of what this crazy machine has to offer. This is the first time that I've really owned something that I stared at on the shelf at the store at one point and just thought I would never have, but here we are. Also, some disclaimers. Yes, you can be a professional with a crop sensor and with 8-bit footage or with not the greatest autofocus and blah blah blah. 
I get it and I've lived it for over three years now. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do professional work with something that is still extremely capable. I upgraded because I mastered what I already had and because I was in a position to. Looking back after all the mental turmoil that I went through to arrive at that place, the decision really was just that simple. Yeah, I could have just rented a nicer camera for those bigger gigs. Yeah, gear isn't everything, but those are topics for other videos. We all have our unique scenarios and ultimately you know when you're ready to take on more and that's all that matters. You should also know that you are blessed and you are loved. Thanks a ton for watching and for listening to me ramble. I'm going to go play with my new camera some more, so make sure you subscribe to join the journey, and as always, I'll be back soon.